Monday. Hey everyone, it's the first Monday of August, August 5th. Can you believe it? I can't believe that it's already August. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna start school again. It's crazy. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of break. I wanna talk about music. I wanted to sort of promote someone who I really, really, really love right, right about now, and that is Marina and the Diamonds. Now, I, I feel, it feel, to me, it feels as almost if they're the Lana Del Rey fans or there are the Marina and the Diamonds fans. And both are great people. I'm not one of those stands who's like, you can't, whatever, you know. But both are great bands. Lana Del Rey is not exactly for me. I don't really care for her voice too much. Some people like her, and that's fine. A lot of people, some people don't like Marina and the Diamonds, and that's fine too. The point is, I like her. And I think her music is wonderful. Um, and when I found out that my brother Gabriel actually really, really loves her, um, we started listening to her all the time. To get Spotify, it's this wonderful app. Well, not really app. It's this wonderful program on your computer that works kind of like a Pandora radio station. Um, but the thing is, you can make playlists on it, which you cannot do on Pandora. And you don't have to pay for any music to put in the playlist. And you can listen to it whenever you want. If you get the subscription, it's only ten dollars a month or something like that. Um, Spotify, if you need me to advertise you, I will. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's only ten dollars a month, and you don't have to deal with advertisements. You can take it anywhere with you in any kind of automated device, and listen to the music whenever. So it's like you're only paying ten dollars a month to access a database of a ton of music artists, make a playlist, and listen to it whenever you want. So yeah. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, it does have its, its you know, pros and cons, but I love Spotify. I personally don't pay for it because I can deal with the ads, you know, just let them play and move on with life. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a wonderful tool to listen to music. And I have a ton of playlists. My friends always make fun of me because of the names I give them. But I have a ton of playlists. One is Old Money, which is kind of like my nickname um, because I listen to a lot of old music. But, yeah, so I have Old Money, which is my... Favorites, some of my like Backstreet Boys, Madonna, um, Cher, what else? Um, Jennifer Lopez, Roxette, um, Biggie, In Sync, Donna Summer, Salt and Pepper, Ja Rule and Ashanti, Houston, ton of old stuff that I kind of grew up with, you know, grew up listening to um, that are way, way, way old. They're old money, you know, they're old, they're old uh, artists. And that's kind of why I got the nickname, because I listen to a lot of old stuff, but don't know so much new stuff. Like, I remember last year I found Party Rock Anthem, like, five months after it came out or something, and I was like, this is a great song, I love this. And then when I played it around Bailey, she's like, I hate this song. I was like, I love it. And she's like, it's just been so played out. And I was like, what? Okay. So I'm really, really behind the times in t when it comes to music. It's just hard for me to find new, new popular artists. I mean, I've been listening to a lot of the like the top 100 on the Billboard. I have a playlist on Spotify for that, so it gets updated by you know whoever is in the top 100. So that kind of helps. Um, but uh, my music taste this summer has been all over the place too. Like One Direction, The Wanted, um, Call Me Maybe, Call It Redemption. I know it's a Detroit song, but I personally love it. Um, what else? Uh, some of Rihanna's new stuff, Tayama I love, um, but yeah, just random new stuff. And I guess my, my question for you guys is, how do you find new music? Um, do you listen to a lot of radio stations? Do you get it from friends? Do you go on your own time to research them? Do you not only, do you not listen to any new artists and just listen to old artists like I tend to have the tendency to do? But not by choice. Um, do you go to SoundCloud? Do you find them on Tumblr? You know, where do you find new music? That's my question for you guys. Leave it in the comments. Um, I'm going to try to start to get you guys engaged in our video. So leave a comment down below telling me who's your favorite new artist this summer or artist that you're obsessed with. It could, it could have been since January. It couldn't, doesn't have to be the summer. But who's your new favorite artist? How did you find them? And what do you think is their best song? That's my question for you, for you, the viewers. So for the quote of Monday, it's going to be a little cheesy, but it's by Pink. 
Um, if God is the DJ, life is the dance floor, love is the rhythm, and you are the music. It's a quote that I've loved for such a long time. I'm a huge, 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 huge Pink fan. Um, all the way back to Misunderstood, you know, I'm a huge, huge, huge Pink fan. And still today, Blow Me is another really, really good song. I know the title's a little suggestive, but it's a really, really, really good song. Um, and... Yeah, so the quote comes from so the quote comes from Pink, and I just love it. If God is the DJ, life is a dance floor, love is a rhythm, and you are the music. Love is a rhythm, and you are music. You know, like I just think it's so. I don't know. I, I don't know. It may be cheesy, but quotes there by themselves are pretty cheesy. So also, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a tremendous Nicki Minaj fan. <laughs> Again, don't forget, favorite artist, like, how did you find them, and favorite song, in the comments below. Alright, love you guys. You're watching It's the Fun. <laughs> You're watching It's the Fun. Don't forget to rest the, watch the rest of this week. Happy Monday, and I'll see you next week. Bye!